I don't know, you can find an economic paper after the 70s, which doesn't assume that a person maximizes some sort of utility. Yeah. So it might be a very complex, you know, in behavioral, you would still have a utility maximization. But then they would relax a lot of assumptions, so it would be, it would be something strange. So the true thing is that the revolution has happened in the 20s and 30s. So the utility as a philosophical concept, yeah, it, it existed a while. Sure. But then economists were like, it's a philosophical concept, so... Yeah, well, it's John Stuart Mill, I think, who sort of credited a lot with the, the utility economic stuff was primary, I think, philosophy. So. Yeah, exactly. So, but then the point is that in the beginning of the 20th century, it was a bit more of like, okay, we, we sort of figured out the philosophy. And now, well, you know, these people ask us for policy. Sure. Because that's, that, that's the interesting side of utility as sort of concepts in economics, because there's this sort of idea that how much sort of, well, how much benefit are you actually gaining from one unit of anything, right? Exactly. And this, the, I think the whole idea of like budget constraints and things like that is, is the whole idea is just because you are potentially nominally richer doesn't necessarily mean that you're actually... Any you, better off. Yeah, any better off, exactly. So you could be on... You know, I guess to put it in sort of layman's terms, you could have less money, but if you're in an environment where you can only buy a set, a couple of goods, whereas if you have slightly less resources, but you're able to buy a lot more types of resources and to fulfill your needs a lot better, then obviously that's a lot better maximized um, use of utility, I guess. Is the when did it, so it started off, obviously, obviously like I said, the concept of utility mm-hmm. was along before John Stuart Mill, but he obviously had a sort of very sort of large role in sort of bringing it to economics, at least. You say it's become, it's been into actually integrated with economic models and sort of mathematics is since what 60s 70s so okay the utility so for instance there is a works of valras which are mid 19th century he was yeah. working on exchange markets and he used the concept of utility yeah. so it was there basically for a while but in the 30s they because that's exactly the interpretation of like, okay, we're measuring how much more better off you are, which is somewhat obnoxious measure for, for if, you, if you think scientifically, it's like, okay, I can measure your satisfaction with consumption in some units and these units are comparable like, among people. Yeah. So it is a bit an obnoxious measure. And then in the 30s, they link the concept of the utility to the concept of preferences. So the whole idea is that they said, okay, I have the notion of preferences, mean I just need to order the goods. Right. 